New York City Housing Authority has snubbed my congressman, Congressman Gregory W. Meeks. And in the shadows, NYCHA is strategizing damage control. <clears throat> and we have New York City Human Resources Administration coming to the rescue to have a disabled American veteran displaced into homelessness for blowing the whistle on Basie houses employees robbing senior citizens and locking them up in a gas chamber trying to kill them. That is a fact. The congressman's office for two months has had my paperwork, all the evidence along with videotapes and NYCHA with a sister agency has been hunting this Haitian national. This is Shelton House, New York City Housing Authority, Shelton House, 89-09, 162nd Street. This is where Mayor Bloomberg's political appointees, Chino Hernandez, has been aiding, abetting, giving material support, and suppressing the knowledge of criminal activities by Hosea Mitchell, Neva Harper, and others, Brenda Wells, to actually kill these old people right after they rob them of their money. They take them to banks, have them put the employee, NYCHA employees' names on bank accounts, and they drain their money. These old people are calling each other inmates. What kind of nonsense is this, Mayor Bloomberg? Are you going to take responsibility for Tino Hernandez, Chairman, New York City Housing Authority? Douglas Apple, general manager. He's the guy that confiscated the evidence I gave him about a year, two, two years ago in order to suppress this. Judith Abruzzo, the inspector general, she outed me as a whistleblower and then sent a referral to the NYCHA legal department that's run by Mr. Lil Ricky Ricardo Morales, who sent a bunch of goon squads over here along with the 107th precinct to chase me out of my house went right after my mother died. Without the, without the permission of the zoning board, your political appointees of, city, of, of New York City Housing Authority are rezoning the 6th District of Congressman Meeks. Isn't that illegal? Oh, well, I'm sorry. Can't call you guys to the carpet. You're not supposed to use the word. All right, I won't use the word. I'll show it to you better right upstairs on HUD to put them in jail right after they get fired. And by the way, I'm supposed to be evicted in a few days. Let's see if that really, let's see if that really. I am a disabled American veteran being displaced by your administration as retaliation for exposing crimes of your political appointees at New York City Housing Authority. I'm talking about Tino Hernandez, the chairman, Douglas Apple, the general manager, Judith Abruzzo, either the present Inspector General or former, and Lil Ricky Ricardo Morales, he's got, his lawyers should be disbarred because they went to court and committed a whole bunch of perjury, and Congressman Meeks has all the proof. His number is 718 7 Mayor Blumberg. Because I respect myself. But what kind of ship are you running here in New York City? Are you going to take responsibility for them? Or are you going to call them to the carpet? They snubbed the congressman because you're the most powerful guy in all of New York State. You're going to make these allegations without any proof. Here is Fronny Green's bank statement embezzled by Hosea Mitchell, covered up by New York City Housing Authority, at the highest levels, Tino Hernandez, Douglas Apple, Judith Abruzzo, and little Ricky Ricardo Morales. Here is your Ricky Ricardo Morales. Oh, I'm sorry. 
It's Ricardo Elias Morales telling me to leave them alone. Don't call NYCHA no more. Stop your complaints. We're going to handle it. Here is the proof of me sending to your Mr. Wontrop on 316.06 that the old lady almost blew up the building because they locked her up in her apartment after stealing her money, going to Social Security to become representative payee. She's suffering from malnutrition, Alzheimer's, and dementia. And you leave her in the gas for four hours? Here's the call log number for 31606, FDNY EMT call log number 2140. Listen to the senior resident advisor saying, NYCHA knew she was in there for four hours. So you got a ghetto and you gassing black folk. You a freaking Nazi. And then two days after that, after I gave them this information, here they are giving me eight months free rent to keep my mouth shut as a bribe. If I didn't take it and had a court paper to show it, you wouldn't believe me, would you? Took your money. Took your Three money. months after I take the bribe, they got the checks, did not cash the checks, went to the marshal, had me evicted, Adult Protective Services and Human Resources in complicity with them did not help me do my own order to show court, did not do the order to show court. I had to do it. Then I went to court and showed Judge Kramer that here's the money was in the bank waiting for them. And they knew there was a crime of opportunity because they had seen a newspaper article that I, I got the Canadians to give me a million dollars worth of breath death to help save New York, New York State residents' lives by giving them a free portable, disposable, 100% accurate, foolproof breath tester. Come on, man. And here is the letter from my attorney, the affidavit, uh, the affirmation that says, hey, look, you guys misrepresented your case in court to evict Philip Dreis. Guess what? Nobody cares. On top of it, in order to kill my life from that, uh, that day, they brought in a ringer. Here's the affidavit that says right here, my signature was gotten under false pretenses to accuse. Here it is right here. My signature was gotten under false pretenses to accuse Mr. Joyce of criminal conduct in court and I was misled by Ms. Neva Harper to sign any document against Mr. Joyce to fabricate evidence. That's suborning perjury. They should be in jail. That's a legal jail. That's a not your legal is in cahoots and perpetrating this fraud. Josephine Russo sent something that said that this is an exclusive senior center. The congressman's office told the court, the court evaluator, Jamie Butchin of, 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 of uh, Creedmoor Psychiatric, NYCHA is perpetrating a fraud. No one paid attention to it. But when I send you information about Ralph Sanders abusing his grandmother in here, and economic exploitation and child abuse, that idiot, that idiot, Judge Millian of the People's Court, chewed me out. Didn't you see it on September 12th? Didn't you see me looking like crap on TV? Well then, guess what? Stupid Productions, you're next. And on top of it, that was, the, that was three things. This is a little bit separate, the People's Court thing, about NYCHA. Now, this is the money back from a check of NYCHA that they told the judge they never got the money from the wire transfers. You know what kind of stunt they're pulling over here, folks? It's called rail. It's that called New York rail. City Housing Authority conscripted Neva Harper into committing a crime of perjury in court, uh, gathering those petitions with no heading, no title, and then taking her to court to lie because I was the one that was the guy helping her save her apartment. Here it is right here. You see it? You see the date? You got everything? I told you I wasn't joking. I told you I wasn't playing. Did not. I'm a former Special Forces Army Airborne Ranger with the 1st Battalion, 75th Infantry. I'm not Airborne Ranger Cook. Mr. Mr. Meeks, who's supposed to save me? But he doesn't have enough power. And guess what, Mr. Congressman? I'd like to tell this to you face to face. That's your face, and you know what I look like. Somebody needed to call the Civil Rights Commission to find out how come your district is being rezoned without the zoning board's permission? And guess what? Ask Councilman Comrie how ticked off he is about that. Hello, Madame Chibor Yeah.
Oui, bien, il est sur le ligne. Ça va bien. Ça va aller bien, très bien. Okay. Parce que les, les Américains noirs, uh -huh. ils sont terribles ici. Yeah. <rire> ah. Ok, madame, au revoir. Okay. ok. That's me speaking French, but one of the African French. <laughs> yeah, I can do your shit anytime I get ready. Ides of March. This is the day of infamy for treachery. The day of infamy for treachery by Congressman Gregory W. Meeks. How you a black guy and you so goddamn dumb. You wanted the senior people in the Foreign Affairs Committee. And you know what your crime against us Haitians are? Here he is right here. In 2000, he emerged as a player as one of the final undecideds on normal trade relations with China. Both sides lobbied him furiously. That's how he made those relationships with those lobbyists. That's how he goes on all these trips and almost died in New Zealand when there was the earthquake just before Ch uh, Japan just got that hit. Today is the eyes of March. He's on a lot of this right here. But we want to concentrate on this right here. Whereas what he did was in the New York Times article, this black nigga traitor to his fucking race is the one that helped put the Dominican Republic into the Central America North Tra uh, Central America trade um, uh, trade organization CAFTA, and he didn't make any room for no nigga as black as his nappy ass motherfucking head. It just went to the a mulatto Dominicans on the other side of the freaking island so he can go down there with Charlie Rangel and be eating up them little girls. That's what they be doing. Going to Dominican Republic for the little light skinned big booty Dominican girls. That's what that's all about. It's right here in the New York Times. Okay? Come on now. Just check in Gregory W. Meeks. As a matter of fact, I got him so good. Damn, look at this right here, look at this right here, look at this right here, look at this right here. Look at this right here. You click this, it says YouTube Congressman WW Meeks containment apparatus unloads and what does that turn into? That turns into Ida Smith. That's what I believe it does. Here you gotta wait for this little arrow right here. And when that goes all the way green, then we get him. He is tagged for the rest of his freaking life, the rest of his freaking career, because I ain't taking this shit down. He's right there, Gregory W. Meeks, New York Times. There it is. There you go. This is the crystal ball of your future. Star Trek. Star Trek. We're warping into the future, and what do we see? Or are we warping into the past? What will it be? Na 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 na. Bang! It's Philip Joyce. Damn! Isn't that a nice guy? Yeah. Hi. I have nothing else to do. You destroyed my life, made me homeless. Remember? <laughs> I want you to have a lot of explaining to do.